Welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite baby mama, Bo Vintage, and today's video is a story time. This is a story time on how I got a refund from Forever 21. If you know about Forever 21, you know they don't give you your money back. They try to be giving you store credit and all that. But like, he's been trying to rob me, so um, <laughs> I wasn't having it. And so basically what happened was one day, long time ago, girl, I don't even really be going as Forever 21 these days. Like. Uh, I haven't really gone and shopped at a Forever 21 in years because, um, well, I don't know. Stores like Forever 21 and H&M, I grew out of, you know. Every once in a while, I might see something in the window and be like, oh, that's mad cute or whatever, and I'll go inside and, like, cop it. But, like, if I don't see it in the window, chances are I ain't in Forever 21. Sometimes I do go there for t-shirts, though, because they got some cute-ass, you know, slogan t-shirts. And I just be like, oh, that's cute. But, yeah, usually I don't shop at Forever 21. Anyway, so this happened a long time ago. This is the second time something like this happened to me. The first time was at Garage before I worked there, but this time was completely different. Um, I go shopping at Forever 21 and I'm picking up a whole bunch of stuff because it's probably a payday So I had a check. I wasn't paying no rent. I just had a little bit of money to spend And so all I would buy was clothes back then like when I used to get my checks um, From garage or wherever I would be working at the time um, I just used to go shopping because One I used to go out like every weekend so I would need club clothes and two I like to shop, so I would be shopping. When I go to Forever 21, I'm picking up this, I'm picking up that, I'm ready to blow a stack in that bitch, okay? <laughs> I'm ready to spend my coins. I grab all this stuff, I go to the change room, I eliminate stuff, and then I head over to the cash, and they cash me out. I think my bill was probably around like 350, something like that. I leave the store, I'm happy, my bag is full, and I'm excited to go home and hang on my stuff and look at my stuff in my closet and be like, Bitch, yes, you fabulous. So I get home and I'm hanging my stuff up and I'm just, I'm looking and I'm just like, didn't I buy this? Didn't I buy that? And I don't see the items. And so I'm like, okay, um, did they forget to scan that? Like, you know, so I go and I look at my receipt and I count um, the items on my receipt versus the items that I have hung in my closet and then bitches don't add up. Which is an issue because, I mean, if I spent $350 at a store, I'm expecting to get $350 worth of items, not, uh, you know, $250, not $300, not $349, $350 worth of stuff. I want all my items, okay? This is actually the third, actually, third um, situation that like this happened to me. When it was Christmas time, uh, two, maybe two or three years ago, Shooter had brought me to pink and I got all this stuff and they forgot to put my panties in the bag And I was like wait, where is my panties? And so we had to call and um They they gave me my panties because they 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 just forgot to put it in they didn't like rob me whereas in forever whereas at forever 21 they definitely did try to rob you girls so yeah, so I count the items and I count the stuff in the closet and it doesn't match up. There's probably, I don't know, say I purchased 25 items, there was only maybe 19 items. And so I'm like, where is the rest of my stuff? Did I leave a bag, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm pissed and so I'm like, oh my gosh, this sucks. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna be going back to the mall in the morning. It was too late to call them and be like, hey, uh, did y'all not give me my stuff? So, um, I was just like, I'll just go back in the morning. Which was bus fare, by the way. Like, who has time? Like, I don't have time to be, I didn't have a car. Like, I was, I don't have time to be traveling back and forth on the damn TTC to be going to the damn Forever 21 to go get my coin back or whatever. The next day, I get up, I get ready, I go to Forever 21. And I'm like, I'm like, can I speak to a manager, please? Because, whatever, whatever. And so they get the manager for me. I'm like, hi, I was in here yesterday. This is my receipt. I spent this amount of money. When I got home, all these items weren't the bag, weren't in the bags. So obviously they're gonna look at me sideways because you know I'm sure people probably go in there and do this shit all the time. Say they didn't get their stuff and then are trying to scam down the place. But I'm not people, okay? I'm bougie. So 
Let's get that in check right quick. Like, let's get that to be an understanding, okay? The manager is like, well, there's no way for me to prove this. There's no bags behind the counter, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, well, I wouldn't waste my time and waste my bus fare to come down here to say something that was not the truth. You know what I mean? I don't have a car. Like, I didn't drive over here, sis. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm not here to waste your time. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. This is my receipt. These are the items that are missing and I would like my items or you guys can give me my money back and she's like well we're gonna have to do an investigation because like I said there's no items back here and blah 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 blah, blah. and I'm like listen lady <laughs> I'm like listen lady I don't have time for an investigation okay I'm a working class citizen I just want my money back or you can go and pick out these items for me and give them to me because what, what are you really expecting me to do? And she's like, there's nothing I can do for you right now. Here's the number for head office if you want to deal with it yourself, but we're going to have to conduct an investigation and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you guys have cameras everywhere. You guys don't have a system in the back. Like, can you please like, you know, she's like, it doesn't work like that. We're going to have to go to head office or we're going to have to, um, um, we're gonna have to call loss prevention and blah 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 blah. So take this number and and um, you can give them a follow up call, or somebody will call you and let you know when you can either get your refund or pick up the items if your story checks out. And I'm just like, if my story checks out, what you mean? Like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> but obviously there was nothing I could do about it, so I was just like okay whatever I'm not gonna make a spectacle today I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna leave because whatever I have my receipt I know that I'm right um, but I'm definitely calling head office because I don't trust this lady for all I know them just could have split up the shit that I left behind they probably do this all the damn time I leave the store and I go back home I decided I'm going to call head office because I don't play about my coin so I call head office and I am on hold for the longest time, like the longest time. I'm like, why is the head office of Forever 21 busy? Like everybody getting scammed or what? Like, you know what I mean? So I am um, on hold for a very long time and then finally I get to speak to somebody in loss prevention at least they said they were in loss prevention and they're asking me all these questions. I'm telling them like on my receipt. Um, there's this many items, however, I was not given all those items that I purchased. And I would either like my money back or I would like my items that I went into the store for because I would like to wear those items, you know what I mean? And so they were like, okay, well, we're going to have to go back to the cameras. So I had to tell them the time stamp on my receipt. I had to tell them the transaction number and all kinds, like all the stuff on the receipt, bare numbers on the receipt. I had to tell them all those things and the all the damn barcode bit of the receipt. I tell them all the items that are listed on the receipt and everything of the sort. And I was like, okay. So I give them all that information. I leave them my phone number, my name, and they said they'll be able, they'll contact me within. I guess like 10 days and I was like 10 days how long does it take you guys to review some footage like I don't understand why I have to wait 10 days it should take y'all about two days I don't care how busy you are this is not a small at that time I wouldn't be considering uh, $350 a small transaction even right now I don't consider that a small transaction it's, it's not a lot of money at the end of the day because you can go, literally go into one store and spend $350 you can literally buy one item for $350 but at the end of the day, $350 to me at Mother F and what, 1819 was a whole lot of money, okay? So I felt like I was out. And so um, obviously I'm livid, I'm pissed. They tell me they'll contact me within however many days, 10 days max. So of course I'm waiting around for this damn phone call, waiting around, waiting around. And finally maybe on the, I don't know, 7th or 8th day, they give me a call back. And they tell me that I can either go in to the store and pick up the items or I can get a full fucking refund. I asked them what exactly happened to my items, why I never received them because I felt like it was my business to know what the hell is going on at Forever 21. And so they told me that all they can let me know is that the person that handled the transaction has now been terminated because that hoe stole my shit, okay? So the person that did the transaction must not have been putting the items into the bag. Like she was, 
she scanned them and removed the, the tags off of them, but she, or the security tag off of it, but she was putting them to the side or in a different bag for herself. Like, she was not putting them in my bag. And so that's why my items were missing because the bitch done stole them. And I'm just like, you risking your job for this, but she must be a professional because she must have been getting away with that shit or this was her first time. Somebody told her to do it. I don't know what the hell happened, but either way, they said that she's been terminated. And so I was just like, okay, well, that's good to know. Even though she was terminated, I still decided that I wanted to get a refund rather than getting the clothes that I wanted to wear because I felt disrespected. I felt like one, they weren't believing me when I came in there, like like their employee couldn't be doing no fraud shit. And two, I don't know, just the way the situation was handled, I was just like, I want to be one of the only people to ever get a refund from Forever 21 because they ain't about to give my ass no store credit. So before I actually got off the, per the phone with the person, I asked them their name, their number, their extension, girl, all that, okay? the the um, I wanted to know if the conversation was being recorded or not because I didn't want to go look like a fool and go to Forever 21. They actually told me that Forever 21, that location, it will be expecting me to come in sometime this week to either pick up my items or get the refund. Because if I were to just go in there and they was acting lost in the sauce and was like, uh, we don't do refunds here, we only do store credit, hands would be thrown and blood would be shed, okay? <laughs> so after I get off the phone with them, I'm like, I wasted no damn time. It is still early, bit. I can go to the mall and get me my money back. So I, um, once again, hop on the bus, take my bus all the way to the 131 Nugget. Hey! I took the 131 Nugget, okay, one bus from my house all the way to Scarborough Town Center. And, um, I walked in that bitch like I... Like, I just want a settlement, bitch. I walked in there like, yes, I'm here for my check, okay? And so I walked up to the cash, and I spoke to the exact same manager that had an attitude with me the last time. And I was just like, hi. Um, I spoke to head office, and I believe you are expecting me. I would not like to pick up the items. I would like a full refund of those items that I did not receive. Like, I wasn't going to bring back the other items. No, they were there at home, so, you know, whatever. I was like, yeah, I would like to do a refund. She's like, well, you're going to have to get in line. And I'm just like, over my dead body. <laughs> over my dead body do I need to get in line. Like, y'all robbed me or your dusty ass employee robbed me. And you want me to get in line to get my refund back? Bitch, no. I am cutting in front of all these people. And whoever has a problem with it can run up, freak. Like, get in line. Oh! Oh my gosh I could not deal like why do people take their job so seriously like why does she why is she mad that she has to refund me my money and the system their system is all janky so like um the refund process was a whole freaking mess because they literally don't do refunds there is just store credit but they had to do all kinds to put the money back onto my card once I got my refund I said thank you and that's probably why I never really shopped at forever to anyone since then it just left a bad taste in my mouth and I was just like yeah no screw forever 21 but lately they've been having some cute stuff you know I was in there yes was it yesterday yeah I was in there was that yesterday yeah, I was in there yesterday with my mama, and I was just like, oh, they got some cute stuff. And so, um, I was like, yeah, I might come here, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> and yeah, so that is the story of the time I got a refund from Forever 21. And there's not too many people in this world that can say that because, um, because... Well, Forever 21 is not for refunds, so I'm special. Anyway, you guys, I love you all, and I will definitely see you in the next one.